You ain't seen gore until you've seen Game of Thrones. No one dies in their sleep on Game of Thrones. Uh-uh, nope, someone's eyes get stabbed or a head gets sliced off or you get hacked to death by a white walker. The murder scenes on GOT are so devastatingly gruesome that we are all borderline suffering from PTSD by now. But we love every second of it. So in light of all of the blood spilled on our favorite TV show, I bring you the 13 goriest deaths in Game of Thrones history. Warning, if by the time you watch this video, Ramsey Bolton has finally seen his last day and has had his scrotum burned off or something, I apologize in advance for not including him because I'm sure his finale will be epic. Now let's begin with the eye brain explosion. His name was Oberyn Martell, and his death scene should have come with a vomit bag. Oberyn was the Prince of Dorne and a fierce fighter avenging his sister's death. Only his duel against the mountain proved unsuccessful, and he's forced to hear the gut-wrenching details of his sister's rape and murder as the perpetrator squeezes Oberyn's head in with his fingers digging into his eyes and skull until his brain literally explodes. Elia Martell, ah! I killed her children, then I raped her, then I smashed her head in like this. Barf bag, anyone? Now the odds are against you when you are trying to defeat someone whose size spawned the nickname The Mountain. But Marin Trant, on the other hand, he's at number two and he got just what he deserved from a tiny girl with an insatiable hunger for revenge. Arya Stark disguised herself with a dead girl's face, classic. And just as the sadistic pedophile thought he was gonna have a sweet way with her, she had her sweet way with him. Not all deaths on Game of Thrones come by way of your enemy. Take Tyrion and Shay. Once his faithful lover, a series of unfortunate misunderstandings led Shay to then hate Tyrion and she helped throw him in jail and then started banging his dad, which is wrong, even by Lannister standards. He catches her in Tywin's bed and before she could yell, he strangles the only woman he ever loved with the very gold necklace he once gifted her as a token of his affection. Dreadful and kind of romantic. <laughs> Shay may have deserved it, but you know who did not? <laughs> Little, adorable Shireen Baratheon, who did nothing to the world except share her sweet innocence, got burned at the stake as a political sacrifice while her devastated mother was forced to watch. That crossed a line, even for thrones. In another powerfully poignant death, it is the one being sacrificed who has chosen his fate. In a scene that brought everybody to tears, we see Holdor clawed and killed by the White Walkers. The sweet and innocent giant who protected Bran Stark through six seasons was destined to die all along. His death is doubly painful. He sacrifices his life to hold the door so that Bran can escape while we see in a flashback scene Holdor in his youth get a seizure as he connects to his future death. He repeats the words, hold the door, mid-seizure until he melts into Holdor. His name and the words that would mark his end were one in the same. Hold the door, hold the door, hold the door, hold the door. In a controversial departure from the book, the season five premiere brought us another devastating death, Mance Raiders. After his refusal to kneel to Stan Baratheon, the king beyond the wall is gruesomely roasted alive as all his wildling followers watch in horror. You can see the pain in his face as he's burning, pain from the fire, and also just pain from knowing that your people are being forced to watch this. But in a rebellious yet noble move, Jon Snow takes him out of his misery with an arrow to Raider's chest. <laughs>
You know GOT deaths are crazy when an arrow to your chest is somehow considered mercy. But mercy Jon Snow did not get from his followers in the death of all deaths. The murder that had us wondering for almost a year, is Jon Snow really dead? For the watch. <clears throat> The poor guy falls victim to a trap laid by his fellow brothers at the wall. He rushes outside thinking his uncle has been found, but instead he is stabbed to death by his brothers. The final blow directly into his heart is painfully delivered by young Ollie. Some deaths have made us weep, while others have made us celebrate with joy like it is happy hour on Cinco de Mayo. Joffrey Baratheon has been by far one of the cruelest villains in Thrones history. Every week we prayed that his end would come, and when it came, oh, it was glorious. After behaving like a dip jackass at his very own wedding reception, the tyrannical reign of King Joffrey came to an end when he is poisoned by an unknown assailant. He foams at the mouth with puke and turns purple. Joffrey! <laughs> 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 Ah, was that satisfying or what? It's up there with the death of one of the cruelest brothers of Essos. Who could forget Viserys Targaryen threatening his sister Daenerys in front of her husband Khal Drogo, who is basically the Dothraki people's version of The Rock, but like with unlimited power? Dumb move, dude. Dumb move. <laughs> At number 10, we return to the beginning, the execution that started it all. Eddark starts. That was one of the saddest deaths in all of TV history. The man who paid the iron price for the sake of his honor. All men must die, my friends. And on that note, the last three spots, you know who they're for. The massacre that destroyed us all. The infamous Red Wedding. Mother. The Lannisters send their regards. Lord Walder Frey uses Robb Stark's broken marriage pact as a cover to betray the Starks by killing them in the middle of a wedding. Bad things are not supposed to happen at weddings. Catelyn is the first to realize they've been betrayed when she discovers Roose Bolton's body armor under his clothes. She yells at Robb to warn him, but it's too late. Talissa is the first to die, stabbed repeatedly in the stomach where she was carrying Robb's child. A desperate Catelyn tries to bargain for Rob's life with Walder Frey's wife as a hostage, but Walder does not give a flying F about his wife. Roose Bolton stabs Rob in the heart, and therefore she kills Walder's wife. And at that point, what this woman has endured is so infinitely horrible that watching her get decapitated almost felt like mercy. That wraps this up, because I need to go grieve. But before we end, Whose death made you sob? And which GOT character had the greatest death in television history? Argue, I mean, comment below. Tweet me at Miriam Issa. Also, if you say Egret, then I might retweet you because that one made me ball. Like, it really touched the heart. Follow me on Instagram. And then on a much lighter note, because we definitely need that right now, click over here for 12 pairs of on-screen siblings who actually dated in real life. And hint, two siblings from Game of Thrones are on the list. I'm Miriam Issa, and thank you so much for hanging out with me and re-watching the greatest TV bloodbaths that ever were. And you can click to the left for seven of the hottest 90s heartthrobs that you might have forgotten. Or click right for 10 famous singers rejected by American Idol.